do you recognize these numbers? Minus 2, 5, 6, 2, minus 7, 8. These numbers are negative and positive integers. Together, they are called directed numbers as they have a value and direction. We can say that all integers are directed numbers except 0. Now let's think of a class of four students. The teacher asks them to stand in a line according to their height. You instantly imagine that the shortest student would be in the front while the tallest student would be at the back. Remember that when we arrange anything from smallest to largest, it is known as ascending order. If the teacher asks the students to line up from the tallest to the shortest, this arrangement is known as descending order. A number line helps us find out the ascending and descending orders of the given directed numbers. A number line has numbers marked on it, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, continuing towards the right. When extending the number line on the left side of 0, it gives us the same numbers but with the minus sign called negative integers. This is a complete number line showing us all the integers. An important thing to remember is that the number line is always in ascending order when we move from left to right and is in descending order when we move from right to left. Therefore, whenever a number is located to the left of another number, it is less than that number. Let's compare minus 4 and minus 6 on a number line. Note that minus 6 is on the left side of minus 4. Therefore, minus 6 is smaller. Do not confuse yourself with positive integers, where 6 is greater than 4. Now, let's arrange the directed numbers in ascending and descending order. If we want to know which numbers are greater than minus 2 on a number line, we look at the numbers on the right of minus 2. So the numbers greater than minus 2 will be minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. We put a dot on top of these points. They are not connected since integers include only whole numbers. Now let's figure out the numbers less than minus 3. Moving towards the left of minus 3, we put a dot on top of the numbers and an arrow at the end, meaning it goes up to infinity. For numbers greater than or equal to minus 1, we will put a dot on minus 1, and then we move towards the right side, marking each number. Since it says greater than or equal to. And if we want to know which numbers are less than or equal to 3, we first mark 3, and then we move towards the left. Let's try arranging minus 2, 4, minus 3, 0, minus 1, 5, in ascending order. We draw the number line starting from 0 and then extend it towards the left side along the negative integers. Now, looking at the number line, we move from left to right in ascending order, as numbers increase when we move in this direction. We see that minus 3 from the given list is the leftmost, so it will come first, as it is the smallest number, followed by minus 2, then minus 1, 0, 4, and finally we have 5. So, this shows ascending order. Note that when we are on minus 3, and as we move one place to the right, we get minus 2. This means that adding 1 to minus 3 would give us minus 2. Similarly, if we add plus 1 to minus 2, we would move one place to the right and get minus 1. Can you arrange the same list of numbers in descending order? The order will be 5, 4, 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. We learned about identifying negative and positive integers on the number line. We also learned how to arrange numbers in ascending order, moving from left to right. 
and descending order moving from right to left.